Hi, I'm Bill Keller, one of the owners and founders of Conestoga Log Cabins and Homes. And today we're going to be touring our manufacturing facility here in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. This is where we make all our log cabins and homes, like you see here, to ship to our customers, resorts, and also individuals worldwide. So if you're ready to see how old world craftsmanship combines with new world technology, then let's get started. So if you look up on the screen, you can see that we built a th whole 3D model of this cabin. And what we can do is we can take it and section it any way we like. And so we can look at pretty much any part of the cabin or house uh, in any view. Um, so we can really get and very specific with the type of information that we can model. And also, the very important thing is we can send a lot of this information directly out to the shop. So here he's going to be cutting it down from the top, and so you can get a little bit better view. When he gets down to the bottom, he can rotate it, and we can see it uh, looking, at, looking at it from the top. One of the other great advantages of making a 3D model is we can actually get to see what the cabin's going to look like before they're even built. You can take a look at some of these renderings that you see. Some of these uh, units have been built and some of them haven't been built. Um, but we can take them and work with them, add different scenes. You can see some have snow, some have grass, put them in the woods. And uh, over here, you can even see some of the interior shots. We can add kitchens and, and other furnishings to really get very lifelike images so we give our customers a much better uh, image of what they're going to be receiving even though it's a completely custom unit. Here we are out in our manufacturing facility. Uh, this used to be an old Bethlehem steel building. Actually, we have about 100,000 square feet uh, to put it in terms that uh, you might be more familiar with. That's about two and a half acres under roof. Really, the starting of our process really begins with our logs. Uh, it's one of the foundation, uh, uh, foundation points of our system. And one thing that really sets our logs apart is they're laminated. You can see that they're made out of multiple sections. This does a lot of things for us. It allows us to make a straighter, stronger, drier, and even longer log. So we've taken these, uh, they come in wrapped, as you can see. Uh, we pull the wrapping back, make sure we take out any staples, and now we're getting them prepared to go over to the milling operation. We're gonna be going over to the molder in just a second here, but one of the nice things about a laminated log is it allows us to get all the moisture out, even out of the center. One of the unique properties of wood is that it has a tendency to shrink but it shrinks in this direction, not generally in the lengthwise direction. So most people have a standard to build house. Uh, their studs are standing upright, and uh, so they don't see a lot of shrinkage in their home. But in a log home, you can see shrinkage of several inches uh, unless you use a laminated log or you take the extra time to really dry the log and get most of the moisture out of the wood. One of the important things about our laminated product and the wood that we use, a lot of people ask about, is it green? And that seems to be the, uh, the new thing now. And we want to make sure that we're conserving our environment. And where this is cut, it's cut in Canada. It's a Native American hunting ground. Uh, they cut in a special pattern to make sure that there's always uh, room for the creatures to move from one section to the other. And they're always under cover. They go into the woods. Uh, basically, they're, where this plan is, there is no more roads. They cut the roads into the forest, and then they start their cutting. They cut in a 1,000 uh, feet uh, square area, and they cut in a checkerboard pattern. And when they're finished cutting, they come in and they replant, including the roads as they go back to the plant, and they harvest the logs. The other green thing about the product is we can use smaller sections. You notice this is a very small section of wood, and we can use that for our inner core, which makes us uh, able to use a lot smaller pieces than we can normally use in a regular log home. You just saw our logs being milled, but there's a very important step that comes after that. We've got a couple samples here so you can see before we go see the notching machine what we're, what we're actually talking about. 
we have a couple different sections. This is our single wall unit, and you can see how it's interlocked, and that's gonna be happening here with a notcher. We do two different types of sections, a single wall, and we also do a dual thermal system, which has two different walls, and also we can insulate in between. This provides for incredible thermal efficiencies and just makes for a much uh, more energy efficient building. It also adds a nice feature of being able to run the wires between the logs, whereas most log homes have to run it in the logs or in special chases that they make. So it just makes the assembly of the building that much easier. One of the other unique things about our process compared to other log home manufacturers is we cut out for all the electrical components and the electrical boxes, which you can see one that's already been cut out here. So we have a special routing operation where we do that offline. We also talked about the bevel. We have a 45 degree bevel on the top and the bottom of our logs, just, uh, just mainly as a nice decoration just to add some more definition to our logs, and our customers really seem to like the looks. We're very proud of our product, and so uh, a lot of companies talk about branding. Uh, we actually do it. Uh, we're getting ready in this process to actually uh, brand the logs with our logo, and we also put a serial number on each one of the cabins, and this would go right in the inside of the front door, uh, right beside a light switch. The brand is very hot and it takes a few seconds and as you can see I'm wobbling it back and forth that just helps it to get deeper into the wood once he gets it set he'll hold it there for a little bit and you can as he kind of checks to see how the brands coming out just to make sure he gets the best imprint possible One of the other things that we do and uh, has been a real focus of us uh, here at Conestoga is to make sure that we have good traceability of all our parts to make sure that we can uh, provide consistent quality and provide the parts uh, right and correct the first time. And this is what we call a job traveler. This lists all the different parts that he's going to need to be packing in this box. He has a place to put a check mark here to check that he's uh, actually uh, put it into the box to ensure that, we, that we're not just checking things off, that we've got each and every part into the box when it goes out the door. Here, let's take a look as we travel down the, the pathway here. We do a lot of different components from windows. Uh, we use quality Marvin Wood windows and Anderson windows in, in some of our homes, but in our cabins mainly we use Marvin Wood windows. We do a lot of bed components. That's mainly for the campground and resort industry, but we do do it for some individuals as well. Some of our cabins are on the smaller side, so we've had to design specially designed furniture to fit in tight spaces. We do anything in this area. You can see some of the finished railings uh, that we saw in uh, the trim room. Except at this point, we've also added a top railing as well to give it a much more finished appearance and also an end cap which will go up against the side of the building. As we travel around a little further we do a couple different kinds of railings so we have a more traditional uh, pressure treated uh, slat or picket. If you look at these You'll notice these are what we call T-jams. This is what I was telling you would fit in between the grooves around all the windows and doors of the cabins. This really will never be seen. It's mainly for uh, just to provide extra rigidity around the windows and doors. If you look down here, you'll see some of our trim components. These would have all been made on the CNC router that we saw making uh, the slats for the railings. You can see how they're grooved out here and they also at the same time would put a 45 degree bevel just to give a little extra special appearance for all around all the windows and doors. Here you can see some of the finished product that's coming off the machine. 
Uh, one of the nice things, it gives us an incredibly fine cut. It's a precision cut. You can also see that we make uh, allowances for all the beams. This would be a beam pocket. The beam would fit into here. Um, one of the other things that we do is if we have a window in the gable end, we can also cut out for the window. Here you notice that there's an octagon window that's going to be put into this place here. This will be put on in sight, but we have one here that you can see how it will fit right in there. The nice thing is when, by pre-cutting all the components, it reduces the assembly time and also makes for a cleaner, nicer installation of uh, the windows and doors. Here we are at our indoor showroom. We've just completed this cabin uh, last week, actually. And uh, why don't we go in and see what the finished product actually looks like. As we travel along here, you can see these are some of the railings that we saw uh, when we were out in the trim area. Uh, this is what the finished product looks like. This has been stained using the stains and finishes that we provide. Over here in the corner, you can actually see uh, how the interlocking system works. This is also one of our single wall systems, but you can see how tight fitting the corners are. And actually the laminated portion of the log, unless you look very closely, is hardly even noticeable. Why don't we head inside now? We can take a look and see what's in here. This model is actually one of our most popular models. It's called Mountain King. We have several different uh, variations of this model. And as you can see here, we have a great room. This is mainly used for either resorts or also for individuals, kind of as a getaway. It's about uh, 1,100 square feet. And uh, we have the main room here. And then you can also see that we've added this uh, kitchen area. Uh, we also produce this in our trim area. One of the unique features that we've added to this cabin to just to kind of really open up the space is to hang the, the top support of the stairs. We're hanging it from one of the beams. That just really opens up this area so we could get rid of the post in here. This cabin sells for about $44,000, $43,000. And then, of course, you can add some options along with it as well. We have some closet areas, some storage. and. Uh, this is a two bedroom with a loft. So this really would comfortably sleep six, maybe even eight people, all depending on how long you're planning on staying. This is the kids bedroom um, or guest bedroom that we've set up here. This here is not one of our solid log walls. This is some of the material that would have come off the molder that, we would have, that you would have seen. This is uh, barn siding, um, and it's actually one by six material made to look exactly like our logs. You can come into the bathroom here, and we can see uh, this is a special countertop that we had made special for this. Uh, this is a special concrete countertop. Um, but again, we've kind of done something a little bit different in uh, this room. We whitewashed the walls just to give the logs a little bit of a different look and to uh, break up uh, some of the feeling of, uh, some people say, that's a little too much wood for me. Um, so we can do that by just changing the color of the wood as well. One of the nice things and features that we've added uh, is uh, a fireplace as well. This is electric fireplace that we've added and just gives us a nice ambiance. But as you're looking down here, you also get a good look at our flooring. This is the, the number one dense southern yellow pine flooring that we had in, that we showed you at the molder. Uh, the only thing that we did to it was we sanded it, we stained it, and then we put three or four coats of polyurethane on just to make it sure that it, it has a durable finish. Well, we've come to the end of our tour. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you would like more information about Conestoga Log Cabins and Homes, please feel free to look us up on the web or give us a call and come for your own tour. Thanks a lot and have a good day.
Thank you.